the Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. Sam Lucido is here. He's an Oracle Solutions technical market expert at, uh, for EMC. Spends a lot of time in the, uh, in the database world. Sam, welcome to theCUBE. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, you're welcome. So, um, we were talking off camera. You've been doing a lot of talks, of course. Um, what's the vibe like uh, out there? What have you been talking to people about? Yeah, you know, it's really uh, pretty interesting. A lot of the uh, Oracle DBAs out there in storage administrators are very interested about the uh, all-player storage arrays right now. Um, we had a lot of great questions in some of the presentations recently, um, and uh, kind of how Oracle databases work on all-player storage arrays. So, uh, in terms of trending topics, um, it it's really seems to be the interest of uh, storage administrators that have to support, you know, databases. So, what are they concerned about these days? The, the DBA, obviously they, they want visibility. Uh, we were talking to Nancy Majors earlier. She was, she was talking about the organizational, she didn't use the word tension, I, I did, uh, between the DBA and the storage admin and how they want, the, the DBA wants more visibility. It's been tough historically for the storage team to, 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 to do that. It's been somewhat of a black box. Is that still a concern amongst DBAs and how is EMC addressing that? You know, that's kind of an interesting uh, question because it's, it's almost the lack of, um, people not knowing about the tools that we have out there. It's interestingly enough, we, we have three tools. Um, we have uh, DB Classify, we have the OEM 12C plugin, and um, we have the uh, MyTrend report that people can use. Two of those free tools, two of those tools are free. Absolutely free to the storage administrator and the DBA. And what's really nice about that is uh, they can use them at any time. The only tool that you have to pay for is the DB Classify tool, and then that's about it. It's interesting though, if people don't know about these tools, so that stress between the, you know, that you were mentioning between this uh, storage administrator and the DBA is there because they're not using the tools. So it's kind of interesting. So how, we, we, we actually um, did a study recently. We looked at how, well, it was an independent Oracle user group who did a study, and then we pivoted off of that study, looking at how DBAs spend their time. So it was kind of interesting, the, the IOEG uh, study assist application development, there were a lot of little things. Data sharing and disk partitioning, managed data storage, documentation, security, database utilities, database performance, capacity planning, on and on and on. A lot of little things right. that they do, which has got to be really frustrating. And of course the biggest thing was other, which <laughs> probably breaks down into 20 more things. Right. What are you seeing in terms of, of, of database uh, administrators, how they're spending their time, and how their, uh, their productivity is being impacted by, some of the, impacted by some of the new technologies that are coming out? You know, it's, it's kind of interesting. I, I really like the study you guys did showing about 50% uh, uh, savings in terms of um, uh, DBA time spent. Um, the two trends of virtualization coming together with uh, performance, uh, you know, storage optimized for databases, those two trends really are coming together and they're really saving a lot of time for both the Oracle DBA and the storage administrator. Case in point, I was just at a customer in Scotland recently and uh, up on the big screen, they had um, the uh, Extreme I.O. storage array. I've never seen this before. I went into the data center, and 72-inch uh, screen, there's the uh, Extreme I.O. storage array uh, showing the performance of the storage array to everybody in the data center, including the DBAs. Um, so it's, it's totally transparent in terms of storage performance. And uh, it kind of speaks really well to the study that you guys put out there in that it simplifies the performance and configuration to a point where you can display it to the entire data center and it really uh, reduces a lot of those routine tasks that uh, you mentioned that uh, storage administrators and DBAs find, you know, they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So, it's great stuff. We talked to Daryl uh, about EMC IT just now and um, he was saying that they uh, you know, created the databases service, we were talking about that off camera, and they automated the, the, the workflow which was it sounded hellish, right? Right. Um, right? He said they by just virtualizing, they went down from you know four to six months down to, to two to four weeks, and now by delivering databases as a service, they get to down to you know an hour to, right. to deploy database. But that leaves the question: What do you do with all those people? Now, what he Dale had a great answer. He said, "We redefine them." What are you seeing within organizations? Is there is there tension about this automation process? Do they 
Are they resisting it because they're afraid they're going to lose their jobs? You know, a lot of IT people are nervous about automation. Yeah, you know what, you bring up an excellent point because it, it, it's that, well you mentioned in the blending of roles as well, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the capability of um, the storage administrator and the Oracle DBA essentially do the same thing almost. Um, so it, it is creating a little bit of tension, but then again, uh, what businesses are finding is, is they can redirect now those efforts that were usually were taken by routine tasks into more growth related activities, right? Spinning up that new application or uh, tuning the existing enterprise applications which is very important because you know a DBA who's locked in in terms of provisioning databases doesn't have time to improve the production database. So it's those activities that further grow the business and uh, improve the application performance. Um, I think that's really uh, the, the payoff in terms of automating those activities. Are, are those individuals, uh, do they have to be reskilled, retrained, uh, redefined as Daryl says? Um, is there a lot of adjacent skills that they have today already? Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, I actually think Daryl's kind of a, a good a good role model for that. Daryl is a, a very core DBA, but the guy knows virtualization inside and out as well. So I, I definitely think um, that uh, Oracle DBAs are going to have to learn more than just the database now, right? It's going to be the database and virtualization. It's going to be the database and the new uh, replication technology, whatever that might be. The database, the DBA simply can't know the database anymore. They really do have to stretch beyond that and learn virtualization. Well, the most interesting thing I think that we found in our study was that the, the big uptake on activity in front of before and after, and, and the after was really sort of optimizing your storage infrastructure, um, utilizing sort of modern technologies, converged infrastructure, you know, maybe some flash, et cetera, that the time saved uh, to, that was now allocated to assisting appli application development was enormous. It was about 50% of the time savings went toward application development, which I presume is where you want it to go. That's, that's absolutely right. I mean, it's that application development that enables new functionality, that enables improvement in the uh, applications in terms of performance, things of that nature. It's much better for the business to invest in that and, and take the routine tasks of provisioning databases and administrating the OS underneath the databases and things of that nature. Take those routine tasks, add the automation to them, like uh, Daryl probably talked to you about, and, and essentially move that to the side, right? And focus on those growth activities that you mentioned. Absolutely. So EMC World is um, it's pretty diverse. You're talking to a lot of DBAs. You're probably talking to a lot of storage guys who, who want to inter interact with their, their, yeah. their DBAs. Um, that's, that's changed. I mean, EMC World five, seven years ago, there weren't a lot of DBAs here. No, well, there wasn't. Uh, talk about how that's changing and, and why you think it's changing. Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. In fact, I just had a session and I asked, um, the first question I asked is how many storage administrators were in the audience? Lots of hands went up. But then I asked the question, how many Oracle DBAs are in the audience? And believe it or not, about 30% of the audience was uh, Oracle DBAs. What I'm really finding is, is that Oracle DBAs want to know what they don't know, interestingly enough, right? So that's why they're attending these sessions, is, is that they need to learn how the new technologies could really be utilized for their databases in terms of performance. And uh, so they're exploring um, these sessions, learning from these sessions. And, you know, and the nice thing about this is I found, I talked to several DBAs this week, um, it allows them to collaborate a little bit better with the storage administrators. So it's that collaboration that's paying uh, all kinds of values. The other piece, let me just call people's attention to it. So the, the, the piece on Wikibon is, uh, it's called duplicating public cloud economics for Oracle DBAs. So if you just go to Wikibon or Google, uh, duplicating public cloud economics, um, you'll find this. There's a, there's a pie chart in there that I love. It's the contribution of Oracle infrastructure best practice. This is using best practice to the overall DBA productivity. You can see um, the, the big ones are uh, actually uh, converging uh, infrastructure into a database uh, uh, like appliance, converged infrastructure itself, virtualization, flash, um, and then offloading the backup and then array-based replication and then integrate, integration with Oracle uh, Enterprise Manager. How are you seeing these technologies uh, come to market uh, and what impact are you seeing on the DBA? Is this sort of a reasonable picture in your oh, view? Oh, it, it, it's, it's a reasonable picture and I'll, I'll tell you what, I just wrote a um, Oracle virtualization best practices paper and I actually quoted from that study um, that you just mentioned uh, because it's such a fantastic study. Um, what I'm really seeing is, is that um, 
uh, Oracle DBAs and storage administrators want to know the guidelines of best practices for each part of the stack, like you just mentioned. You mm -hmm. mentioned several pieces of the stack. So they really want to know what that is, and then they, they're coming to, to learn and learn the how-tos of how that could be really implemented. So I think that's really the new uh, interest level that uh, Oracle DBAs and virtualization people know. The other thing we talked to uh, Daryl about was sort of best of breed versus integrated you know, suite. Right. Uh, and it's been an age old discussion in IT. So um, you guys are trying to take this best of breed approach. Right. Uh, and your main competition here and your, your and, and quasi partner, you know, Oracle. Right. Um, you know, once they bought Sun, they sort of changed the relationship a little bit. What are you seeing in terms of uh, DBA's affinity? To your mindset, uh, because a lot of them are really loyal to Oracle, of course. Oracle makes just an unbelievable database software. Um, and of course, Oracle's in now in pushing the red stack. Right. A lot of, you know, older Sun, not older, but you know, Sun technology that they've updated and, and the like, but really pushing that red stack, pushing that integrated systems. Uh, is your message resonating with them? And, and where does it where does it resonate? Where doesn't it resonate? What are you seeing in the marketplace? You know, that's a really good question. Um, what I see uh, Oracle and the way Oracle works with customers, so they usually talk to customers about the software features. So, for example, uh, features unique to their converged solutions and things of that nature. They don't talk about the hardware too terribly much, which I find extremely interesting. Uh, and, and to compare that with EMC, what we do is we talk about the hardware side of it. Right, so there's this whole um, dichotomy between Oracle and EMC. Oracle talking about the software, EMC talking about the hardware, right? And, and the messages are completely different because of that, which is really quite interesting. So where do you want your performance? Do you want your performance in the software or do you want your performance in the hardware? So DBAs are actually having to weigh where they want their performance. And the interesting thing is, is that, do I want to do all the patching and maintain it in the software? Or do I want a transparent and built into the hardware and, and no additional complexities or management load on me, the DBA? So it's kind of interesting. They have to pick between those two, those two worlds. And um, you know, it's it's I'll be honest with you, you know, some DBAs go with the red stack, absolutely, and, and they're very successful with that. Other DBAs go with the EMC stack and they're very happy too. So, you know, I'm not gonna say one way or the other, one's better. I prefer the EMC. But um, you know, I think there's good solutions out there for everybody. Sam, really appreciate you coming on the cube. Uh, last question. So, what's your what's your big message to, that you're taking away from EMC World 2014? Maybe put it on a bumper sticker on the back of the car and as leaving Las Vegas. What's it say? I think the big bumper sticker on the back of cars is it's just flash everywhere. And the key to the flash everywhere message is um, what what type of flash can you use to really uh, tune and uh, get your database off the ground in terms of performance. Sam Macedo, then thanks for coming on theCUBE. It was always great to have you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, okay, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back. We are winding down day three, EMC World. We've been here all week. We had two cubes earlier. We've, we've, we shut down one cube. They're going to sweep us out of here at uh, five o'clock. But we're going to go right up until then. So keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back. This is theCUBE. We're live from EMC World 2014.